Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about this follow focus, uh, the F60 from Smallrig. This is a manual follow focus and you might be thinking, uh, how can you really redesign and then reinvent uh, such a simple, in a way, uh, an old, tried-tested kind of design. But Smallrig has done a bunch of improvements that I think are significant. So uh, the whole thing is pretty nice light package, so it will work great on small DSLR cameras, mirrorless cameras. Uh, this is actually the whole complete kit. You can actually make it a bit smaller if you don't need the extension arm and if you don't need this little hand grip. This little attachment you can remove, but it, essentially what it allows you to do is to kind of, uh, at least for me, I would use it like this. I would rest it on my arm while my fingers, I would still be able to pull focus. And sometimes I just used it as like a little grip. So it's, it's kind of small, but it's, it is there and it helps you kind of support the weight of the camera, especially if you have like a longer lens with, uh, with the rails you know, out in front. And then with my other arm, I would just have like a hand gripped. You also have this little extension arm, which I pretty much leave it there all, all the time. But if you wanted to, you could remove it. And then instead of putting the uh, 15 millimeter rails through here, you would actually put it up here. Uh, but by having this, this allows you basically to, you can adjust the height of the, 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 the follow focus and kind of the angle to your lens. So it's always nice and straight. Once you've adjusted your position, you just use this lever here on the bottom to tighten it. One thing I really like about this follow focus is that everything can be adjusted without the use of any tools. You just have little simple nabs everywhere. Uh, another really nice feature is this friction here ring. So you have this little ring here and that allows you to adjust the friction basically of your follow focus ring. Let's say you're working with a cinema glass where usually the focus ring kind of has a bit more tension in there when you're turning it. Then obviously you'd want to loosen this up so that you can still be able to adjust it fairly easily. But if you're working, for example, with like a lot of the still photography lenses that uh, have, are very easy, you just literally with a touch of a finger, you can end up going into, from one extreme to the, the other of, of the focus uh, range, then that's where uh, adjusting that tension is really nice because it just allows you to add a bit of tension so it's not so easy uh, for you to turn and maybe go past your marks or things like that. Uh, another thing that's really cool about this is that, as you can see, this is the, the ring, right, that actually will connect and sort of turn your lens. Uh, and this ring can actually be flipped very easily. So let's say if you have the follow focus on this side, and then suddenly you want to flip it on this side, but you still want the, the follow focus to work in the same kind of directions, uh, then you can easily reverse this, uh, basically, the direction of this ring by just loosening this little lever here and then you can flip this. So it just basically goes to all the way to the other side. And as you can see, you can adjust it from one side to the other, essentially flipping it or reversing its direction. And then you flip this little lever and right there, it's, um, it's, it's relaxed for you and ready to go right away. Uh, another thing they do give you is, for example, uh, you know, you have a marking ring, so you can obviously mark your positions up here, but if you're, for example, a single operator or you're operating the camera and pulling focus and you maybe have preset uh, focus marks, uh, but you obviously have to be able to concentrate on the actual framing of the shot and you can't be looking at the, at the ring and the markings, then you do have these little nabs that uh, you can put in different positions. And then you can basically flip this little hard stop and now that allows you to go from one, basically follow focus or, or focus mark to the next focus mark, right? So you can easily hit those positions repeatedly. Uh, another thing I like about it is that actually that little hard stuff here on the top has little rubber pads built into it. So even when you do hit it, it's not like this basically sharp, abrupt, you know, point where you hit it. Uh, also, it doesn't make noise, which is important because there's a lot of follow focus uh, that I've had uh, with this kind of hard stops that are, that everything is metal. And then in that case, when you hit it with those little hard stops, it just makes noise. This one is, like I said, it's kind of padded and it just helps you come to kind of a smoother uh, step. Uh, as you can see, you also do have a whip connection here. So you do, do want to put a whip for, you know, pulling it remotely. Let's say if you have um, an, an AC who's actually pulling focus for you, then that's an option. Um, and like I said, at the end of the day, the whole thing just, it's fairly compact. It flips, you know, like you can kind of fold it all away easily. Uh, it actually does come with a pouch, which I left somewhere. Where is it? Oh, it's here. <laughs> so here's the, the little pouch that it comes with. And uh, you can put the whole file focus in there. And then they also do give you, uh, in this pouch, the smaller it gives you one of their 15 millimeter rods. 
and a little here attachment for that rod. So you can use this to attach, especially if you have like small rig cages, this will just attach very easily, but you can attach to other cages and then for example, you can have that like on top of your lens, under the lens, things like that. Now, obviously if you have a whole camera rig built up, then it's, you just put this on your rails. Uh, they do also give you this uh, geared, uh, basically um, a rubber, basically ring, which is, this is so that you can put it on top of your lenses that are not cinema lenses, that are, that are not geared. But another thing you can do is that uh, the foul focus here does actually come with, um, as you can see, with like a little rubber ring that you can put over the gears. And to be honest, like once I kind of press it against the lens, it's, it just has enough kind of a, like kind of a, it's like a rubber kind of a, you could say surface that, that it provides enough kind of friction against the lens that just by using this then I'm able to focus any still photography lens without any issues, without having the gears. So definitely if you're in the market looking for a follow focus system, something that's small, uh, but has a lot of these kind of cool advanced features and adjustments, then uh, definitely take a look at the F60 uh, follow focus from small rig as always if you want to find out the latest prices and more information then check out the links in the description of this video or even better head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one bye